As Alicia Keys once sang, it's a woman's world. And the woman featured each week inside of a C-suite. There are proof of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like for everybody, wherever you are, to take a look at this young man who's done um, some amazing things with his life. He's attained wealth at an early age. He travels the world to help people become better people and to have that um, wealth mindset. He's been in the country empowering some young people at different seminars. We're also very excited to have him on the uh, In The Millionaire event together with Timothy Maurice Webster taking place next week, uh, Thursday evening. Uh, it's actually Wednesday evening, the 30th of June, 30th of June, 30th of June at the Regenesis Business School. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a sit down with uh, Australian Andrew Barsa. What is a wealth psychology expert? What do you do? Like, are you going to help me become wealthy? Or I don't understand. Okay, so it's a way of thinking. It's um, the difference between consumerism and an investor's mentality. I'll give you an example. You know, there are three types of people in this world. People, unfortunately, who don't know how to make money. That's number one. Number two, people that know how to make money, but don't have the ability or don't know how to keep it and allow it to grow. So they'll make it, make it, make it. They'll spend it. They'll put it in certain things where things aren't appreciating in value. So they're really good at making money, but they can't maintain it and they can't grow. And then you've got the third person who has the ability to make the money, manage it correctly, and allow it to grow. And that's what I teach. I teach the, the later part. And that's a mindset for psychology to understand, you know, what to do with your money, how to manage your money. Unfortunately, um, the school system that we both attended globally, you know, I know I'm from Australia, but we pretty much come from the same school system. And the school system, unfortunately, never taught us the life skills of life. Um, we were taught the theory of life, which is really important. But we need to know how to take the invisible, the ideas, the thoughts that we have, and manifest it into something physical. And they didn't teach us how to utilize money correctly, how to manage money, the importance of generating more than one income. Unfortunately, globally, People rely on their salary. They work nine to five, they save a bit of money, they may put it towards property and so on, and then they hope that they have enough money for retirement. And unfortunately, most people get to a certain age, like in their 50, late fifties or sixties, and they think they're gonna have you know, X amount and they're gonna enjoy life there and then, and then they realize they don't have enough. And that's the biggest mistake. You know, Financial success and financial wealth is about having the ability to generate more than one income, having multiple streams of passive income that exceeds your expenses. Very interesting. Now, you've been in the country for a few weeks and I have attended some of your uh, programs. Mm. And I must say, an extremely, extremely impressive. And you always get these standing ovations. But I also admire the fact that you've also committed yourself to going to very young people's um, events. Now, it's been the youth month in this country mm. and I've seen yet more than one youth gathering. Mm. How important, how, or how important is it for not only yourself, but for people to to be giving to others? Ah, oh, it's so important. You know, one of the six human needs, there are six global human needs, it doesn't matter what background you have, what color you are, what religion you believe in, there are six fundamental human needs, and one of them is contribution, giving. You know, it's a, it's a sense of, we need to give. I believe in, in, in life, um, you know, you, you give, you know, um, um, the bottom line is, um, I have a philosophy in life that I live by. Um, what you get to give, you keep forever. What you fail to give, you lose forever. And so working with the youth of South Africa is very, very important. You know, they are the future. You know, they are the future of, of South Africa, Africa, and, and, and obviously, you know, a lot of South Africans and Africans want to probably expand internationally as well. So they take their knowledge and experience and they go elsewhere. So it's very, very important that we concentrate and focus on the future of, of not only South Africa and Africa, but globally. The youth of the world is very, very important because they are the future. And, you know, I look back to my um, upbringing and my youth, you know, I wish I had someone like myself and other people that could teach me um, what I know now, back mm. then, you know, you know, um, it'd be phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's my, my, my way really to share my experience, my knowledges, my failures, my successes with the youth of South Africa and Africa. They, they say when you know better, you get to do better. Now, he's leaving in about a couple of days, in exactly 14, well let me, actually less than 14 days, I think in about 10 days he's leaving. But um, you've got one more chance to catch this gentleman which is on the 30th of June. He is, together with Timothy Maurice Webster, they're hosting an event 
on the 30th of June in Santin at the Regenesis Business School and it's called The Inner Millionaire. As a young person who's watching this show right now who either wants to become an entrepreneur or I'm a professional, I just love being a chartered accountant or a lawyer or I probably already have a running business and I'm doing okay. Coming to the inner millionaire, how do you unleash that out of me? How do you make me a better person? How do you unleash my inner millionaire? If I come to the event on the 30th of June, what am I going to learn? Well, for me, it's about um, getting you inspired. I don't believe in motivation. I, I believe motivation is only a, a short-term thing. It's an external force that's coming in. You think about it, when you're, when you're internally inspired by doing something, um, you know, you do it. You don't have. You don't need to be motivated. You don't need to be reminded. You know, you love what you do. Spirit. You know, you absolutely love it. You can see it. You're on social media. You're sharing. You've got a message, and you love what you do. I'm sure no one has to wake you up and say, "Hey, Spirit, listen, wake up. You've got the radio show yeah. in the morning, and so on." No, you'll be ready. You'll be pumped. You'll have all the content ready to rock, to rock, ready to rock and all that you want to share with your audience. So. What I do is I, it's, it's, what I do is I work with each individual because everybody's different. But I understand that everybody wants to become financially free. Why? Because it offers flexibility. And really, at the Inner Millionaire program and event, what we do is we look at each individual and I, and I, and I speak to everybody and identify exactly you know, what goals do you want to achieve. Where are you right now in your life? Where do you want to go? It's very, very important to identify and have clarity and focus on where you want to go rather, rather than what's not going right for you. Because that's unfortunately a lot of people focus on what's going wrong rather than what's going right.